Hey guys, Chris from Drift Outfitters, and today we're going to tie a really simple quill paradigm. You can mix this fly up with any kind of uh, different colors of quills and hotspots you want, different sizes of beads, down um, you know, about as small as like an 18 or so, up to uh, as big as a 14 is usually what I tie this in, which is what we have on the vise here today. So hop into this. The hook that I have going is a Dohiku 302 size 14. Hannock 230 works well too, or your favorite nymph hook. Bead on here is a three millimeter slotted copper uh, tungsten bead. I've spoken to this before, but the reason I like to use a slotted bead on a regular nymph hook, um, even as opposed to a, a jig hook, is a couple reasons. One, even though this is uh, not a, a jig hook, we can, by sort of pushing this slotted bead upwards and holding it there with thread wraps, invert this hook and it also uh, increases the space between the bead and the point of the hook as opposed to using a, a regular countersunk bead, um, just giving you more reliable hookups. So that's why we do it this way. For thread, I've got going here a Tana Vivas thread in an orange. This is the standard orange, not the fluorescent orange from Vivas. You could use that too. This is just a little bit more subdued. So I'm going to push that bead up here, up toward the eye and just going to pile on some thread wraps behind it to hold it up in place for us. Like so. All right. I'm gonna take my thread back down toward the bend here. And for the tail on this fly, I've just got some natural coque de Leon. Strip off a few fibers here. And I'm gonna tie in a short tail, um, you know, but a hook shank or a little bit less. Reason being here is that paradigons are designed to sink quickly. And if you have too many materials hanging off their sides, uh, it will actually just add drag to your, your fly and slow its descent. So it's kind of counterproductive. Short tail, like so. There we go. Now for the body on this fly, I've got a natural stripped peacock quill. This is the Polish quills uh, peacock quill here in a natural. And uh, they've usually got this little bit of fuzz on the tip. I just snip that off. I'm gonna tie that in alongside the fly here. Now, if you're looking at from your uh, you know, tire's perspective here, there is a, a light and a dark edge to this, um, this quill here. What I want is for the dark edge to be on the top, which means that we'll be trailing when we start wrapping. This one actually doesn't have a very well-defined back edge, but uh, you'll, you'll see it. I'm just going to, what, one thing you didn't see is that, just off camera here, um, I did just very briefly pre-soak this quill in a small bowl of water I have here. After they do strip these things, they do become fairly brittle. They get dry, and um, they require some some soaking, some uh, moisture add back into them, so they don't crack when you start wrapping them. But you'll see them wrapping, and as I wrap, that darker edge on the back side just trails and creates that nice segmentation. I'm gonna cross that off once I get to the front. If you have trouble handling the quill, because it does get quite small there, um, a pair of hackle pliers can be a good friend. And then we're pretty well done. All I'm going to do is just cover up any loose ends there with my thread, build a very small sort of all, uh, orange collar there, a little hot spot. A few turns of whip finish and thread wrap slipped a little bit there. Pull it back in, there we go. So that's essentially our fly. And the other thing we're going to do here is we're going to quickly coat this with a little bit of UV resin. Any sort of thinner viscosity UV resin will work well for this. This is um, the Solares, fl um, not flow, that's Loon. <laughs> this is the Solares Thin uh, Loon thin, flow, anything along those lines, uh, bone dry from solar is, those are all great options. I'm just gonna take a little bit on my bodkin here and just smooth it around the fly. 
best I can. And then we're gonna hit it with a light. We don't want to overdo it with the resin here, we're putting on basically as thin a coat as we can muster uh, just to cover the body, make it a little bit more durable, and they'll also just uh, decreases the friction between the body and the water so that again, this is, um, you know, it just sinks like a, like a stone, has no drag, no resistance going through the water. So let that for a few seconds, make sure it's good and dry. And that's as simple as it is. That's your little quill body paradigm.